Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another tutorial video for you today. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can broadcast to a Shoutcast internet radio server using OBS. Now I've needed to do this in the last few weeks as I've started DJing to an internet radio station and they broadcast out over the internet using Shoutcast. Now previously, I've broadcast to Twitch, Facebook, YouTube using OBS and I still wanted to do this while hosting the radio show via Shoutcast. Um, but I wanted to have the same audio that OBS was broadcasting to Twitch, also broadcasting to my Shoutcast server. Sometimes I have little eye dents that I put in on my videos um, that you can see visually, and I also wanted the audio for those to be broadcast to the Shoutcast server as well. So I needed a way of getting the audio from OBS to the Shoutcast server. And I've not seen anyone else post a video on how this is done. So basically I'm gonna show you how you broadcast to a Shoutcast internet radio server using OBS. So what I'm gonna do right now is jump on over into the laptop and I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing we need to do is download three pieces of software. The first one is a virtual audio cable. And this is gonna take our audio from OBS and push it out to another piece of software called BUT. And this is BUT here. It's BUT stands for broadcast using this tool. And this is what we're gonna to use to broadcast to our Shoutcast server. And the other piece of software we need is an audio monitor. And basically what this is going to do is it's a plugin for OBS and it pushes the audio that we're using in OBS out to BUT and it uses the virtual audio cable to do this. So the first one we're gonna download is the virtual audio cable. So we're gonna click on the Windows download here because I'm on a Windows machine. And we'll go into our downloads and there's the file there so using WinRAR I'm just going to extract this into a folder and open that folder from here we can see the install program at the top that is virtual audio cable for a 64-bit system now most people should be running a 64-bit system so what you want to do is right click on there and click run as administrator. And once the program comes up to install, it will look like this. So just click install driver. You may get another screen that will come up to ask you to install the device driver. Just click install. And then once it's done, you'll get this little notification to say you'll need to restart your machine. But before we do that, we'll install the other pieces of software first. So we'll click OK. And now we will go and install BUT. So from this web page, just scroll down to where it tells you the latest version. We have got a Windows setup, a Windows setup without installer, Mac OS, disk image, and a Linux app image and a Linux source code. We're only interested in the Windows setup. So I'm going to click this button here and that downloads the latest version of the setup file and then I'm going to click open here to open that file. It will come up with the install program. I'm just going to cycle through this. It will install in your user folder here. Just leave that as it is. And once the setup is finished, it'll ask if you want to open but and see the readme. I'm not interested in the readme, but I am gonna open the software so you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna click finish, and but will come up looking like this. But next we want to download the audio monitor. So I'm gonna to go to this web page here. All of these are in the description. From here, I'm gonna click on the download. And again, I'm interested in the Windows installer. So I'm gonna click download there. That file has saved and I'm gonna open that. It opens in WinRAR 
And then from here, I can double click to install it. User account control will come up, press yes. And from here, we can get ready to install. Now you won't see the errors that will come up in this video because I've got OBS running to record uh, my screen at the moment. Uh, but you should be able to follow this through pretty easily. So we're going to click install. I don't want to close. I'm going to click next. And we'll skip that error there. So when it's finished, we're done. So we can close that folder there. And I'm going to head into OBS. So what I've done here is I've arranged my window so you can see OBS here on the left and but over here on the right. So now we've restarted our machine. I'm going to click on Docs and go to Audio Monitor. And that will open a audio monitor just here. From the settings cog, what you want to do is go to outputs, all and select cable input. And it might add a, another little slider for you there. And basically what this is doing is it's going to take all the audio that is played in OBS and ship it out to whatever you want to use using the virtual audio cable. So from back here, we're going to click on settings and we're going to go to audio. Now our primary audio device, we need to set as cable output. So what is going to happen now is any audio that is played in OBS will get shipped out to butt using the virtual audio cable. So we'll just close this screen here and I'm going to add a source and just a audio file. Click on music. I'm just going to open this here. And as you can see, on the audio mixer, there we've got audio playing. From the audio monitor, we can see that there's audio playing at the same level. And then in but here, we can see we have audio playing there. And if I pause the audio, we can see that the audio stops there. It stops in the audio monitor and it also stops on but. So we know that the audio that but is receiving is the audio that's getting exported from OBS. We'll play that again just to prove that that's what's going on. So we're playing media source there, which is the audio file. Then the audio monitor, which is now pushing the audio out to but is now showing there. And to broadcast to your Shoutcast server, you'll just press play. That'll broadcast to your server and you can start streaming on OBS knowing that the audio that is played in OBS will also be the same audio that is pushed out to your Shoutcast server. So there you go. A little bit of a cheeky workaround uh, to get your audio from OBS to but and then out to your Shoutcast server. Um, hopefully in the coming updates there will be a way that you can broadcast to a Shoutcast server directly within OBS. Um, but this is the best way I've found it right now. Specifically the radio station that I uh, broadcast to has to use BUT. So if you broadcast to an internet server uh, using BUT at the moment but also want to broadcast out to a video service such as Twitch, YouTube or Facebook and have the audio identical from your OBS feed to your butt feed, this is the way you do it. So I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you found this useful, please comment down below. And if you found a way of being able to broadcast to a Shoutcast server using OBS that I've not covered in this video, then please also comment down below and let me know how you've done it. So until the next one guys, stay safe and I'll see you very soon.